Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we'll be talking about the NVIDIA RTX 4090 specs and mining hash rate. Since this card just got released, usually I don't talk about like newer graphics cards and things that just get released, but lately I've kind of been in some videos, so I figured why not make a video on this since it literally just came out October 12th, and for reference, today's October 13th, so it's a day after the release. And you may see this upload, I believe it'll be around October 15th, so on Saturday. So once you see this upload, it'll be a few days in the market. But we already have some hash rates, and we get to see the specs, so let's break it down. So that way you guys know if you are interested in getting the 4090 yourself, or if you're just curious on what the capabilities are. Like myself, I never go out my way and spend like, you know, over $1,000 on a graphics card, but that's just me. I always stick to a certain budget and work with that. But I always just like to share information when it comes to mining and the mining uh, atmosphere. So I figured let's just make a video on this and see how this goes. So we'll go over this article and we'll check the profitabilities, the mining hash rate, and things of the sort there. So as you see, this is on the NiceHash blog. So it's coming right from NiceHash and it's going to be right on the profitability calculator as well. So we'll see what kind of profits you make depending on your hydro rates. But as you see, the titles NVIDIA RTX 4090 specs and mining hash rate. A new series of RTX cards are coming soon. The first release of the RTX 4000 series will be the RTX 4090 on the 12th of October. It truly is a beast. So as I said at the beginning of this video, it is October 13th for reference. And this came out yesterday or whenever you see this video, it came out October 12th, the card. But the RTX 4090 MSRP, so the retail price of it, is $1,599. So not a cheap you know, amount of money. It's like a paycheck worth of uh, money just for a graphics card, which is insane to me. So I'm glad that's why I, I made videos on the Intel ones, because I'm glad to see like a budget friendly card come into the market. But anyways, similar to what the MSRP of the RTX 3090 was two years ago, but this RTX 4090, it has 60% more cores and almost double the clock speed. Yet the memory clocks and specifications are not that much higher compared to the RTX 3090. Both of the cards use GDDRX6 memory. Note that the RTX 4090's TDP is about 30% higher compared to the 3090. So relatively, there's not much difference between the 4090 and 3090. So if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, since this one's released now, like the 4090, your 3090 and below will probably become cheaper, even on like other resellers like Newegg, Amazon, and things like that. And there just might be better sales because this is going to be their new line of cards. So the price is going to be much higher, which will ripple effect and knock down the price of their other models. But the specifications for the RTX 4090, the GPU is AD102. The cores is uh, 16,384, I believe. The memory size is 24 gigabytes. And I believe this is going to be like the top end model, of course. I don't know if they're going to make like 16 gig or 8 gig models, which I assume they will because they've done that for like the 3000 series. So the core clock is 2,235 megahertz. The memory clock is 1,325 megahertz. The memory type, as I said, is GDDR6X. The bus width is 384 bits. The memory speed is uh, 21.2 gigabits per second. The bandwidth is 1,018 gigabits a second, or gigabytes a second, sorry. And the TDP, which is a power consumption, is 450 watts. So that's quite a bit just for a uh, graphics card, if you ask me. So at least for your power supply, you'll need like a very like powerful power supply to be running your motherboard if you have like a gaming motherboard, plus this RTX 4090 card, which is a whopping 450 watts. So just be prepared to, you know, use up a little bit of power consumption. But if you are cutting a profit when it comes to mining, which depending on your hydro rate, you will be cutting a profit with the RTX 4090. This high, uh, this wattage really won't come into effect for you. But as I always say, it just really depends on the market conditions at the time that you do decide to run this. If you're running it now or just buying it and saving it for later. But as I always say, it's better just to kind of wait and wait for this price drop to happen because it just came out. So the price is going to be as high as possible. And then resellers as well, they're going to be marking it up probably a little bit to make some pocket money for themselves. So the, R uh, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 mining performance. And note before I read this, there is an update down below as of October 6th. So just take this first sentence just lightly. So as it says, at the time of writing this article, there are no reports of hash rates. But obviously that has changed, as I said, 
There's an update we'll read afterwards. I just want to go through this whole article. So we can only guess the mining performance based on the specs of the GPU. As far as we know, the 4000 series will be subjected to LHR. So it's the light hash rate type thing that's been going on with uh, NVIDIA's graphics cards as of late. So I imagine over time things will be unlocked. We are unsure if our LHR unlock will work, work with the RTX 4000 series. So NiceHash has a built-in uh, LHR unlock system. If you use NiceHash mining software, it'll unlock it so you get the full potential of the RTX series. Depending on which one you are using, if it is LHR locked, this will make it unlocked if you use NiceHash. But when comparing the RTX 4090 to the RTX 3090 Ti, we see a lot of similar memory specs, but the core specs are 60% better than the RTX 4090. Based on this, we can assume that the hash rate of the 4090 will be similar to or slightly higher than the RTX 3090 Ti on the memory intensive algorithms. This means around 140 mega hashes a second on the ETC hash algorithm. So on the Ethereum Classic algorithm, they're estimating around 140 mega hashes, but obviously we have actual reports of what the hash rates are now. And I can tell you they came really close to like guessing on their mark here. But because the RTX 4090 has about 60% higher core count and about 100% faster core clock speeds, we can assume that the hash rate on the core intensive algorithms will be around 50 to 80% higher than on the 3090 Ti. So obviously a big like significant difference between the two when it comes to mining because there's just more power behind the 4090 in general when it comes to the cores and the clock speeds and things like that. So it's good to see that there's actual improvement if you are deciding to upgrade in a sense. But as I said, if you're just using it kind of for standard purpose, there's not much difference between a 3090 and 4090. But when it comes to mining, on depending on the algorithm, there's clear differences. But an update as of October 6th, we got our first confirmed hash rate for the 4090. Its speed was 118 mega hashes a second. It's not too far off their guess. We are not sure what overclocks or what mining software was used. We guess that the stock settings were used. So just kind of guesstimating that um, it wasn't overclocked or undervolted or anything of the sort. So the base stock setting, you get 118 mega hashes. And I imagine with some overclock and all that, you could probably push 130 mega hashes a second. But it all just depends. There is no like official word on which settings were used or anything like that. But it's good to see that, you know, obviously I wasn't surprised on day one. So on October 12th, someone went out and bought this and mined on it and got like the information for it. Because like I, people try to say mining's dead, you don't have to worry about miners. In a sense, people are still going to be buying these graphics cards either for the facilities, for home use or whatever the sort, wherever they have their mining um, system set up. People are always going to want the better and bigger technology when it comes to mining, especially right now, because right now, like I said, the RTX 4090, depending on your uh, electricity situation, is pulling uh, a profit. And we'll check that because we could check it on their mining uh, profit calculator right now. But as you see, like the mining profitability, you can navigate to a profitability calculator to get the approximate profitability of the RTX 4090. They have added the RTX 4090 to the profitability calculator for more straightforward interpretation. Values may not be correct because there's only been a few uh, hash rate confirms when it comes to the actual uh, NVIDIA RTX 4090. Um, nice hash can also auto detect your graphics cards in your PC and you'll be able to calculate your potential earnings like I've had in other videos on how to mine with nice hash before you even get set up and started. You can see and determine if the 4090 is right for you when it comes to the price point and electricity use. But we'll check the profitability calculator right now. So over on nice hash profitability calculator, I just have my currency set to Canadian, but I'll switch it to US after we do this quickly for the Canadian. Just me being Canadian, it's easier for me to understand instead of me having to worry about to convert. But I just put the electricity cost as 10 cents, and we'll change that up just to get some different totals. But as you see, the NVIDIA RTX 4090. And I'm going to assume this is going to be for the 24 gigabyte memory size model. But if you just click calculate here, it'll just quickly calculate. So right now it's pulling a profit of 7 cents Canadian a day if you are paying about 10 cents electricity. So overall, it's good to see that, you know, there is a graphics card that can pull profitability. I mean, some other ones can as well, just depending. It really comes down to your hydro rate. But a one day, 7 cents, as you see, a one week is $1.21. And one month is $11.35. It's not a crazy amount of money, but it's better than nothing if you are a miner. 
And if you're buying multiple of these uh, NVIDIA RTXs, you're going to be pulling a bigger profit because you, depending on your electricity rates, of course, but just a single one itself is pulling seven cents a day. So that's good to see. And then we could just scroll up here and then I'll just change that to American. So my American viewers can see, I'll calculate that. So for USD, I guess that is uh, negative 22 cents, but in can, uh, Canadian form, it's positive seven cents. So I'm not sure how that works. I'm just going, I'm putting the same rates in and everything, but I'm not too good when it comes to conversion itself or anything. It's just kind of weird that, you know, the Canadian and US are a little bit different. But if we put in obviously no electricity costs, so if you're not paying anything, as you see the little green guy with money because anything is profit when you're not paying electricity, it's a profitable 73 American dollars, 73 cents, I should say. So 0 0.73 USD per day. So it's highly profitable if you're not paying electricity. It's almost a dollar a day in the essence. So 0 0.73 cents in a day, one week is $5.68. And one month is 28.80. And this is American, I mind you. So if we do switch it back to Canadian here, just so I can get a better understanding myself, it's about a dollar two Canadian a day. So as you see, in one day it's a dollar two Canadian, one week seven ninety two Canadian, and in one month forty dot fourteen Canadian dollars. So that's really good to see that there is profitability. If you're obviously when you're not paying electricity, so it really just varies on your electricity rate. If we do like five cents even. We'll see what we pull. Um, so negative 373. I'm not sure if it's like, no, that's 50 cents. So my bad, 0 0.05. Kind of just doing this on the fly here. So if you're paying 5 cents electricity, that's about 55 cents a day you're cutting profit with this card. So like I said, just uh, figure out your hydro rate and then you can come to the nice hash calculator or other mining website calculators, because I imagine some of them will be up as well with the 4090, since hash rates have been getting out there. But it seems like it'll be a profitable situation, as long as you're not over about 10 cents electricity, and depending on your region and location, because it varies depending on your location and region, obviously. But if we scroll down, we can see really what people are mining. And right now it's Octopus, I think that's how you say it, and then Dag Hash, Dag Hash Mito is number two, and then ETC hash is number three, and then Zell hash is number four. So as you see down here, it's roughly about 140 mega hashes a second, give or take, depending on like the settings you are using. But overall, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty solid card when it comes to mining. And as usual, just like when it comes to gaming, as soon as a new card comes out, people just flock to it and buy it just to try it. But I always suggest getting a mining calculator and getting your profits and seeing if it's even worth for yourself to go out and buy but that's all i got for you guys today if you did enjoy this video or it brought some information to you or some insight just give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as i make more of this content i do do tutorials as well when i find something new or if like some kind of project or something for mining appears soon enough i'll be going back to my old style of videos i'll probably be doing a follow-up video once i move and get my rig set up and things like that i'll take you along on that journey and then we'll have videos for that so I can show you guys what I'm mining with, my equipment, and what my profits are, and what my hydro rate is. And that way it gives you a better like understanding of everything as well. So you're not just sitting here looking at a screen and reading articles. It's just this is kind of what I'm working with right now. And when I do move, I'll have like a whole mix of videos when it comes to mining. Because I'll have my own room dedicated to mining. So eventually I'll get more cards and get more things set up. And it'll just be a whole journey for us on this channel here. But I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.